Hey guys, welcome back to Gravity Check MTV. Today we are at Snowshoe Mountain Bike Park in wild and wonderful West Virginia. I will have a review of Snowshoe Mountain Bike Park coming out in the next couple of days, but this video is specifically about my first experience on a downhill bike, and if I think you should rent a downhill bike if you ever go to a mountain bike park. What you're watching here is one of the runs I made down a trail called Skyline, and I'm riding a specialized demo downhill bike. Now this isn't the first run down the Skyline Jump Trail. I actually did a couple of runs down this trail on my Carbon 29er bike prior to this run. One of the first things I noticed once I had the downhill bike down on the trails was just how stable it was at jumping. And I contribute most of that to just the sheer weight of the bike. This bike weighs almost double what my trail bike weighs. And that weight is very noticeable when you're doing jump lines. Little things like rocks on the takeoff or transitioning your weight in the air just do not affect the bike as much as it would a trail bike. Uh, the downhill bike, with the amount of weight that it has, it's just incredibly stable through the air. However, one downside to the weight of the bike was going through a lot of the corners and a lot of the berms on the Skyline Trail. The weight of the bike makes it very difficult to just power through those berms and keep your speed. Uh, and the, down the downhill bike with its triple fork setup made it very difficult to, to do very tight turns. So in a straight line, very stable, very fast, but I didn't find it very capable in the corners. I definitely think that if you're planning on visiting a mountain bike park similar to Snowshoe or Whistler and you've never ridden a downhill bike, that you should definitely rent one for the day. Considering the average rider is never going to buy a downhill specific bike, the bike park is a great place to experience something like a specialized demo. The ride was unlike anything I've ever ridden. Riding the demo gave me the confidence to hit features and jumps that I never would have attempted on a regular trail bike. This is because the suspension travel makes it so forgiving if you make a mistake. You can see in this run that there are several times when I send a jump too long and the suspension just absorbs the impact.
<laughs> I come into that way too hot. Nice clearing that fucking double. That was huge. Woo! That was huge. So there it is guys, as you can see, getting a little too comfortable on the downhill bike, coming into that last corner a little fast. But my opinion is, if you're going to a bike park, I highly suggest that you rent a downhill bike for the day. Uh, you're going to be able to experience the bike park. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got a bunch of new videos in the pipeline, as well as a review on the Snowshoe Mountain Bike Park coming out later this week. Thanks for watching.